Not everybody is capable of great athleticism. Not everybody is capable of high academic learning. But everybody that I know is capable of self-expression. And dance, I feel, is a beautiful way of bringing that forth into the world. I'm Colleen Perry, and I'm the director of Free To Be Me Dance. Free to Be Me Dance is an adaptive dance program where I teach ballet to individuals with Down syndrome. Ballet is my it's my thing now, so I'm 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 now I'm now trying the basics of of. Yeah. It gives them balance, it gives them structure, but there's also something very free about dance. The favorite part of class for the children and for me is the free dance portion where we play a song and each of them gets to be spotlighted and have their solo and do whatever comes to mind. That's really the power and the beauty of dance, when you don't tell a child how to dance. Free to Be Me dance program, because it was founded specifically for um, children with Down syndrome, brought Melissa together with other children with Down syndrome. There is a bond there that they don't know where it comes from, but they share it. It feels like a second family. Until I started Free to Be Me dance, I still had never worked with anybody with Down syndrome, but there was something about it that I wasn't at all afraid. And I just knew that this population of people would be so open and so welcoming to what I had to offer, which was not just the discipline and perfectionism of ballet, but the joy and the beauty and the spirit that comes forth when you just allow yourself to dance. How do you feel when you dance? <laughs> yeah, Natasha's hearing loss, it's um, mild to moderate on both ears. And I read in books that for kids with Down syndrome, usually people try to pick up on sign language to try to communicate with them, and we start it. This is dance. Dancing. Dance. So when we do come, we're telling Natasha we're going to go to dance Dancing. today. And I didn't know what Down syndrome was, and I just had like, I'm going to say the stereotypical view. I thought if we started early enough, then more and more children with Down syndrome would come to love dance early in their lives. And it would be a nice flow into our level one dance class when they were old enough. And I knew that there would be something about involving the parents that would be really important for the development of the younger dancer. I love to eat dinner with my sisters and my family. This is my daddy. He, 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 he loves to kiss me and hug me and take me to ballet beside us. As a parent, I know that the world is not going to be very kind to Bella in the long run. And she's going to miss out on a lot of things that a, a regular child would would get to do, but for that one hour or two hours on Sunday, she's, she's like the center of the universe and kind of a superstar. Seeing her happy, seeing her uh, perform, that was like the best gift she can give me. It was just, 
she had to see this is this is how important it is for me to see her shine because we don't get it, at least for her, she doesn't get many of these opportunities. And that's why we're, I'm thankful for these classes. The performance you're about to see, the dancers have been working for over 12 weeks straight, both in the studio and at home, to get this routine.